Now let's talk about the QuickBooks files and the folders that you have been given. Let's go to our flash drive. I click on computer. Here's my flash drive. I'll double click my flash drive. And inside we have our QuickBooks files. And notice we have three different folders. But before I can start talking about these folders and the files inside them, I want to see what the extensions are. To turn on the extensions, in Windows 7 you click Organize, Folder and Search Options, you click on View, and then down here where it says Hide Extensions for Known File Types, we uncheck that, click OK, and then if you look up here we now have our extensions. So when using this textbook, for each chapter the authors will have you open an original working copy found in the original files folder. They will tell you to back up the copy and when you back up the copy you need to choose the backup copies folder for the location where you're going to place the backup copy. And then it's going to have you restore the backup copy and it's going to ask you where do you want to restore that backup copy to. You're going to want to choose the working copies folder. From then on you will work on the files only in the working copies folder just in case one of your files gets so messed up you need to start over. Now on the job you are only going to need to restore a QuickBooks file when your working file is corrupted and you need to convert a backup copy to a working copy. Fortunately, I personally have never had my business QuickBooks file become corrupted, so I've never had to restore a backup copy in real life. But I make backup copies on a regular basis for my business just in case. So let's talk about the original files folder. The files in this folder are the original files that came from the publisher. They came from the student resources disk that came with your textbook but I've organized them for you and will copy them to your flash drive. The files in this folder should not be worked on. For each chapter this step-by-step -step instructions will tell you to open these files from the original files folder, save a backup copy of the backup copies folder, and then restore that backup copy to the working copies folder. Let's talk about the backup copies folder. The files in this folder are backed up copies. When QuickBooks creates a backup copy, it does two things. It compresses the file, and it gives the file the QBB extension. The second B means backup. Now, because these files are compressed, they cannot be worked on. If you did want to work on them, you would have to restore them using the restore process. Now let's talk about the restore process. When you restore a file, what you're doing is you're taking a backup copy and you are uncompressing it. In restoring a backup file, a few things happen. The backup file is uncompressed. You are then asked, where do you want to place the restored working copy? Well, the place where you want to restore the working copy is in the working copies folder. And then, once this restore process has been finished, the new file inside the working copies folder is given a QBW extension. Again, the W means working copy. So in summary, the files in the original folders and the working copies folder will have an extension of .QBW. This means these files can be worked on but only work on the files in the working copies folder. Do not work on the files in the original files folder. Keep them in the original state in case your working copy in the working copies folder becomes messed up and you need to start over. And lastly, the files in the backup copy folders will have an extension called .qbb, which means they are backup files that have been compressed and cannot be worked on unless you restore them.